As you get close, closer to the rollout of your one-to-one -one program, infrastructure is important, but so is the allocation of people in the areas of support services. Which people should you be now reassigning to new roles to support this implementation? And what will those new roles look like and what will be their accountabilities? We decided to reach out to several people who are pioneers and leaders in this field in schools around the world to hear what advice they could give you. One-to-one -one learning opens up a world of possibilities and at times problems. What if there's a software failure or a student's laptop crashes? Where does one get help? Technical support should be ready and waiting when things do go wrong. Let's figure out how to make those non-events. Remove them as problems so that the teachers can be focused on the students and the students can be focused on their learning. For small and large schools and districts, good support services often takes a village. So we have a help desk up here that is staffed by uh, one person whose primary job is to do hardware repairs and a, a couple of other people who uh, are part-time working at the help desk and part-time teaching. Each of our secondary schools have a tech room. We call them a tech room. And in that tech room is where we man it at certain hours of the day. So in the high schools, we're there in the morning from 7 to 7.30 to 10.30, so three hours or so. And then in the afternoons, we're in the middle schools doing the same thing. For one school district, it took creative problem solving to meet its support services needs. Actually, it's been quite exciting because we have an intern program, which we've had in place for about six years, where we hire students uh, from community colleges or technical colleges and they come and spend time with us, we pay them, and usually they're with us almost a year, possibly. We do a lot of training, and they actually then support our tech rooms out in the secondary schools. Some problems are best handled by an outside source. Developing the right partnerships is crucial and should be based on the best service and not on cost alone. The tech room is also the place where our third party vendor comes to make all the repairs on the equipment if necessary or our staff would make repairs and then get it back to students. And we also work with, with our suppliers of our, of our devices, um, so we're in, in partnership with Computerlec um, for our, our notebook program and they uh, again provide excellent support with, with their devices. We uh, are very conscious that when we go to tender to purchase computers for staff and students, the, it's really not just the specification of the machine, although that's important, but we wrap that around with uh, a service level agreement. Hardware repairs need to be fixed in 24 hours. If they can't be fixed, then a loan computer is provided to the student or staff. Students can also play an important supporting role. One of the policies that we have is that students uh, must back up their work, although it is their responsibility to do so, and there are a whole variety of ways in which they can do that, uh, particularly with uh, Microsoft OneNote, where a lot of academic work is stored. The, those files are all server-based, and so you literally could have the laptop destroyed, get another one, and you could immediately restore your work in that area. When technical problems do occur, Make sure that whatever level of support your school provides, it's always sustainable, replicable, and scalable to ensure success.